Okay, I can now see the M35, the open cluster in the Gemini. That's amazing, that's beautiful. <laughs> I don't need anything, you know, for targeting. Just look at the closest star and just guide the telescope toward the star hopping. That's what this is called. Oh wow, uh, oh wow, uh, I can see that very tight global cluster beside the M35 also. <laughs> Never thought that I can see that. This is amazing instrument. This is beautiful. It's, it's a work of art. At the top you hear is my finger, I'm photographing also at the same time, for thumbnails of the YouTube. It's amazing, amazing view. I must say, this is a wonderful setup. I really enjoy this. And I think this is better than Altazimut because it can easily follow. And this is a lovely telescope, Skywatcher ED DS Pro. It has a shot glass which is uh, uh, practically makes it upper chromatic. And this is not available anymore <laughs> in the UK at least. Uh, because China has run out of, uh, you know, because of the COVID situation, they cannot supply. Okay, the star is now overcast. I cannot see much many stars, but uh, that's up. I just pack up. That was a nice night. Saw a few gems of the night sky with this excellent instrument. Just want to show how easy it moves. Look, well balanced. The, f the key to the equatorial mount is that you have to well balance them. If you well balance them, they're easy to move, they're easy to use. Especially when you use the controls, you can take track of everything. Um, yeah, just there is so much about the uh, you know astrophotography. Sketching is as good as that. And uh, without the you know that um, trying to keep up with everyone, just doing the everything that everyone is doing, is not my type. So not my thing so I'm just enjoying what is what can call traditional astronomy <laughs>